Hey everybody, welcome to my studio today. Today we're working on panel number three and four from the green file folder base. And as you can see, I've already got it assembled. Um, I got the bird pocket all ready to go. And I have um, this notebook, notepad in here. And it's all tied in with some eyelets and I'll show you how I assemble this. Okay, let's get started. We're on the green base um, panel number three and four. And I'm just going to quickly cut out um, my pages before I start decorating them. So let's see. All right, so I do have some measurements. Hopefully these are correct. Okay, on this side, I'm going to be putting a notepad. And then this side, I'm going to be putting a pocket with a um, flap like this. Okay, so I'm going to cut out the base, which is going to be this lovely image here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to do the first part, which was the five. With, it's going to be, oops, got it wrong way. Sorry, I want the girl, not that part. So it's going to be five. And then I'm going to add a three eighths hinge here for the bend. Okay, so I'm going to cut that at five. And then um, the eight and a quarter for the height, like always. Let's see, eight and a quarter. Look at me right there. Mm, I think that's okay. Yeah, I think we'll make that work. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now I need to add the three eighths inch, inch hinge, which will be on this side. Yeah. So, oops, scooted that over just a bit and didn't mean to. There we go. Three eighths. Kind of hard to see it, but yeah. So it'll be like that and the notepad will be on this side and the pocket will be on this side and of course i'm going to make this the wavy just like i did with the other ones <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and cut out the pocket which i got right here this lovely bird i love this bird okay so i have here it's supposed to be four inch oh, yeah, there's a measurement uh, four and seven h eight four and seven eighths let me say that correctly four and seven eighths of an inch wide so just set that and five and seven eighths inch tall but i want it to come just to the bird's head for the pocket so i want just a little bit so i'm going to take this part off and then cut it down to um, five and seven eighths. Okay. So this will be, yeah. Did I put a hinge on the bottom? Yeah, I did. Okay, so there'll be a hinge here, a hinge here, and a hinge here. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and add my hinges. And this will get them out of the way. Okay, so we're going to add a 3 8 inch hinge here around the bottom. And on this side right here. And then we will put, we need to cut out the um, corners like I do so that they don't hit each other. So I'm just going to go right across like this and then just slightly angle the same thing here okay this is my bird pocket and see how, how those nicely don't hit each other so that looks it's really nice whenever you go to put it down there's my lovely bird, and it's going to sit on top of the birdhouse like this. Of course, you won't see the birdhouse, but it's there symbolically. And then um, 
this will have um, a flap, which I haven't come up with yet, but it'll sit like this to cover the fur like that like a little pocket. I think about using fabric. So that's why I haven't cut that out yet. Okay, so, and then we'll assemble the notebook. Notebook, but this was all the cutting for this. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so I've compiled everything in here for our green base number three and four. I have been working on decorating the panels, getting some things done. Um, I'm just going to take everything out of the bag so it stops making noise. Pull everything out of that I'm going to be using. Okay. Oops. Forgot one. Come out of there. There we go. Okay. So this is, like I said, for the green base, um, number three and four. We have some elements here I'm going to be using um, just a little bit. Some decorative bits. More decorative bits. <laughs> Kind of sitting them off to the side. Okay, so let's see where we're at. Um, okay, so this was my original like prototype. And this is going to flip up and I got the bird cut. And I have the notepad on this side. I've decided to add um, eyelets for and put the ribbon through there to hold my notepad. So I'm going to put that off to the side now. Um, we're going to... This is going to be after I get this assembled so let's work over here there she is okay so I have added all of the um, beads on here and um, yeah and then let's work on the oops this side so let's work on the notepad part um, what I did was I took a piece of paper I didn't double side it and this is, um, I think it was three, three and a half. I think. Let me see. No, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So six and a half sheet. And I haven't um, done the top yet. I still have to cut the top because this is too tall, too tall, too tall. And so what I did was on the inside, I um, took my stencil and took some alcohol inks. Actually, that's what this is. Um, alcohol inks and mica spray and I just sprayed my stencil and that beauty came out I really like that um, so yeah I need that um, I created this little notepad it's just some tea stain papers um, that I uh, cut it, these this is three inches wide um, I haven't again cut the length it's going to sit in here like this I haven't cut the length as you can see is way too tall so we have to do that yet and then this panel is going to be on this side like that um, so let's work on that first let's work on this over here what I'm going to do is hold this in place and then cut out um, a window I was originally thinking I would just use, I would use my Sizzix mesh, but I think I'm just going to cut it. I don't think I'm going to worry too heavily about um, the exact shape of it. I think it's going to look prettier if I just cut it. So let's try to hold this in place. Let me grab one more to hold that in. Okay, I'll just grab this one. Make sure that this stays in place whenever I do the cutting. All right, now I guess we need to. I need to decide on how uh, big I want my cutout to be. So I'm going to bring my cutting board over. I got my little pieces. I'm going to set them off to the side here. Probably can't see that, but they were in my way. All right, let's see. Um, I think we will come in on the edge. Mm, I don't want that big of a window. I'm going to fill it with lace. So I'm thinking I might mark it with my pen so that I can see. I'm thinking like, oh, there, I'll do it this way. Sorry. There we go. I'm thinking like an inch down 
So I'm just going to gently kind of mark it right in here like that. And um, I guess I need to cut off the part I don't want first before I cut the window out. So let me do that. Um, I am going to go and let's see. This is going to sit like this. So I'm thinking leaving enough of a gap on the top and bottom. So thinking right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can barely see it. It's got the little tiny mark. I'm just going to cut that off real quick. Make sure it went through. There we go. There. Now we've got the right size. I can go back to putting to cutting this out. Okay. Now I need to put the clips back on. Making sure that that's lined up perfectly. See, I had it off center. Let me try it again. Okay. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to flip it over this way and go for the one inch mark across the bottom here. Approximately. It doesn't have to be perfect. So. Just kind of go approximately. Um, just giving it a start. Okay, and then how far out do you think? Maybe half an inch. I can't see. Let me show this way. Yeah, I think half an inch. So about right there. And half an inch on this side. it about right there. okay now let's see if I can cut this semi straight all right let's start here I guess I'm gonna line it up against the bottom edge so that I can see what I'm doing since I have the clips in okay so I'm just gonna line line this mark up as closely as I can with with this edge it's the seam and I know I need to stop about right there. So I'm going to start right here and go up right there. Okay. And keep trying to keep both pieces really tight in there. Okay. And then. I want to oh, it'd be easier to do it from here. Okay. Let me line it back up again as evenly as I can. Okay, this is needs to come off for a second. All right, there's where I start, right where I left off, and I end right there. Okay. Now put the clip back on so that everything stays nice and tight. Um, let's see, now I should probably come down here and go straight down the edge. Let's see, pull that off one more time. Okay, line it up, knowing where I want to stop at, right there. I'm making sure it goes through both layers. All right, and I just need to hold it, remove this side, and line it back up one more time. Okay, right there, and go across. All right, now uh, did it go all the way around? No, let me go over just a hair. All right, did it go through? Uh, no. That one didn't go all the way through, so I'm going to try and line it back up. I'm a little off on that. I'll have to cut it out by hand, I think. 
Yeah, I know exactly where, so that's good. All right, so now I'm going to move this off to the side and take out this piece. So that's pretty. Make a nice bookmark. Grab my scissors so I can clean up any raw edges here. Just think I just have this one, which I created the last second. Okay. All right, and then the window out of this one, cleaning up any of the edges. Let's see. Okay. okay, and then this one. Okay, there we go. All right, this one will fit right here. Yep, that one's going to line up right like that. Um, it looks like it's off just a hair. All right. I still have to cut it off at the bottom, but that's okay. We will do that in a minute. All right. Now let's ink, ink up the edges. That's what I want to do. Um, this actually went all the way through. That was not supposed to happen. That was not supposed to happen. Hmm. It's kind of pretty. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it anyhow. I'm going to cut this so that it goes all the way through. Um, this is this is a boo-boo, but let me see if I can open it. I may have to restart and with another piece of paper. Almost there. Let me just run this back through my cutter so that I get a more perfect line right here. There we go. I'll stop right there. This actually may come out really interesting. Um, yeah, this actually may be, may be very interesting. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so I may, may do, do something different on the back since this was supposed to be on there. And yeah now you can be able to see that through the back so huh, it's actually kind of neat so i think i'll um do something different with that <laughs> like i said that wasn't quite uh, my game plan but things change on the fly so let's just change it up oh ink that's what i need to do i need to ink this up i'm just going to get out my vintage photo And I'm just going to ink up the edges on the outside first. Just to tone down all the whiteness on the white edge. Okay. And then also do this one. There we go. So I got both of those. All right, now we're going to take the uh, lace, piece of lace. I got this beautiful lace here. I was gonna use a different color, but I really like this cream. So we're gonna, just gonna, sorry about this. I don't have it laid out, so. I didn't have a piece cut out and I should have. 
should have cut a piece out. Let me get my fabric scissors for this. That way it's easier for me to be faster. Okay, I was trying to find an edge that was straight. <laughs> I have no straight edges on this piece. There we go. All right, there. This way I can see right where I need to cut. Okay, I'll just go straight up here. There we go. That should make sure to test it first. Yeah. Okay, so that'll work. So I'll put this off to the side. So I'll use it. I've been thinking about putting it right there too, but I don't know. That, that might make it cohesive. Okay, so it looks like I'm over the edge just a little bit, but should be okay. Now, like if I use my Sizzix machine, I do have different frames that I could have used in here. Um, shapes, I mean, frame shapes. But this one is okay for because the notebook itself is kind of rectangular. So I think it'll be okay. All right, I'm just adding some Fabri-Tac so that my lace will lay straight and adhere well. Okay. Push it out a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess. And over here on this edge. And then across the top right here. Anytime I can cut out excess bulk, I try to do so. Um, that way things lay a lot flatter. Okay, so I got that in place. So now we're going to glue this one straight on top of it, making sure I get it lined up. I, um, should I use the double-sided tape? I'm afraid it's going to wiggle too much for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the Fabri-Tac. This time I'm going to make sure I go all the way up and across the lace so that it all adheres together. This is probably way too much glue, but I want to make sure that this stays because this will be like a little uh, notebook. That and you can kind of take it out and um, make your grocery list or shopping list or just a task list or whatever you want to do. But it comes out separate from the book. Okay, let's line this up. Yeah. Might off just a hair. This side. Yeah. Okay. Any I can cut off any of the excess that goes around it. Okay. So this is now like that. Now you weren't supposed to see all the way through. You were supposed to just see this back panel, but um, let me grab my other scissors again. There they are. I'm gonna cut this excess off right here. We have a lot to do in this and panel three and four. There's a lot of pieces, so I'm hoping I remember the order of everything. Okay, that looks, that's looking really nice. I like that. Um, I do have an edge issue right here, I can see. I wasn't sure if I should take it off afterwards or now, but I think I'll take it off now. I better take it off now. See, it's just slightly hanging over the edge here. So I could run it back through the machine. Machine. I don't mean the machine. I mean my cutter. Um, 
Um, Okay, just wanted to trim that up a little bit. Okay, now, um, see this is now going to sit. Oh, that's that's pretty. So I'm, I don't know, this is going to sit on the inside too. You still won't see her, but that would have been cool if I had made a notepad that went on. That would have been cool. Okay, anyways, back to what I was doing. All right, so I'm going to put this on top of here. Just going to glue it. Just going to glue it in place. I'm not really going to be picky about it. Just going to glue right over top of where my stitches are. That's all I did was um, put some copy paper. They are three inches wide, and then I just sewed right across the top. And I'm just going to put that right there on the edge. And then I am this time going to use my cutter um, and cut across all of those. So that actually it should be just slightly, yeah, I think I'm going to go slightly. Um, so that they're under is what I'm trying to say. So about right there. Right there. Make sure not taking out too much. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna hold that up so I'm not cutting it. I'm just going to slide this through all of these papers. Let's see if I got them. I did. Oh, so I can save that for another little notebook, notepad. Okay, see, that's what I wanted was a little bit of excess on the bottom there. Oops, excuse me. Okay, so now I have this on the back. I need to figure out what to do. Um, I could, could put a piece of lace in there um, with another piece of paper cut out over top of it. But I don't know yet um, because it is a boo-boo. It was not planned. So I'm going to go ahead and um, not think about that right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish the, the side. So because I do know what I'm going to do there. I am going to put this like that. Okay, so that's actually really perfect right there where it's at. But before that, I am going to put down some... Um, Create like a little collage, I guess. Just a little something, something. I'm going to use my um, stamp that has all these different fonts. I'm going to use this. Let me see. I'm going to use this one, this corner one, because I kind of like it. I am going to. I had a piece of paper. Okay, I'm just going to grab this up here so I can stamp off. And I'm just going to put it right behind this so I'm gonna remember that it's about that spot so I'm just gonna this is just um, archival black jet black ink Might get a little bit of that on there too yeah. okay I'm just gonna stamp it off so that it's not quite so dark let me see yeah a little more next time don't stamp off quite so much <laughs> Okay, and oops, got that in my there, like that. Okay, so it's a little more than I had intended. Oh, yes, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, that on there, and then I have, um, I'm done with that. Sorry, there's like I said, there's so many parts here today that. I want to make sure I got them on. I have this um, faux uh, antique vintage tape, I guess you could call it. So I'm just going to use a piece of that on here, but I'm going to glue this little flower, which is just a die cut. 
and this is, see you can see on the side it's just a die cut on a piece of cardstock and then my daughter colored it for me she's really good at um doing shadows and lights and stuff so i had her color this for me and then i put um glaze over top of it so i'm just going to glue it down Well, are we having glue issues again? Okay. I do not know what's wrong with my glue, but I haven't been able to get it to work for days now, so. I'll just use some fabric tag. I've been using it a lot lately. Okay. There we go. About right there. Maybe up a little bit more. Right there. Okay, I'm just gonna put that, push that down. I'm gonna cut me off a little piece of the vintage tape here. To, I just got got to figure out where I want to put it. Let's see. Okay, I've got one. Probably do two pieces. Yeah. let's see I might do it like this that's cute I could cut it off at the bottom that's neat but I, I think I will just make it a little bit thinner and just put it across here like what I don't want the flower petal maybe I can lift up the flower petal Yeah, I like that. Just a little, just a little something. Okay, and that's what it looks like from that side. Um, so I think that's cute. I haven't decided about rounding the corners yet since it is kind of a notepad. Um, I don't know. I'll come back to decorating it later. Um, all right, now for the next part is the eyelets. I need to figure out where I want those to set in here I need my pen again all right I'm thinking closer to her waistline um, so right about there I see her waistline is about this flower so okay so if I mark this side and then come across with a ruler on this side I should get it pretty close to being, oops, I forgot how far over. Let me lay it back down one more time so I can see the eyelet. Okay, I can kind of just, that feels like it's off to the right. And this one needs to be slightly more this way, I think. Okay. I think that'll work for placing the eyelets. Let me just check and see if I got the I got my magnet stuck. It's for the other side, so All right. yeah, that would have been off site. Okay. Right there. Okay, I think that's gonna be fairly even I don't know we'll test it and find out all right so I have these white eyelets that I plan on putting in on this so let me let's see mm, let's see it needs to be this this size the 3 16th Okay. Just lining it up. Okay. The only problem is, is when I put the other side in, I wasn't planning on going over that far, I don't think. But that, that'll be alright. Now I'm definitely going to line it up now. So that I can, making sure I get the hole. Why is this off? Like, 
Well, actually, listens. Listen is pretty close, so I'm just going to go with that one. This one right here in this little middle of this um, flower. Oops. Got to fold that down in order to be able to reach. Otherwise, I have to get out, get out the big boy thing. Grab. Okay, there. All right. Now, sorry about that. It got jammed up. I'm going to make sure my settings are correct. Two, three, four, one. And. I believe that's right. Let me try it now. Okay, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to punch that out. I don't know if I got the wrong setting or what, but that's not, that's not what was supposed to happen. i try A, see if A works. I may have to punch it out with a piece of metal or something. Do I have this upside down? No, I don't. It seems like it's upside down. Is it upside down? I'm not used to using this one, so let me try it again. I think I had it upside down. Yeah, that worked. That worked a little bit better. Don't worry, these will be covered with tape, so I ain't too worried about that. Let me just take a second to punch that back out real quick. Okay, I got the eyelet back out of there, so let me try it again. Punching it in correctly this time. Okay, it's a little bit better. Yeah. I'm not good with this. Um, they just, I, I bought, uh, I'm not sure if it's the eyelets or the machine, but it's one of them. Okay, so now we're going to take this pretty ribbon, which I really like. I don't know how much I need, so I'm just going to keep it on the stick for a minute. This is kind of how I store my laces and stuff, is on these toothpick, toothpicks. Yeah, that would be funny, <laughs> putting it on a toothpick. Um, no, I keep them on the popsicle sticks. Except for my big lace sheets, and I just store them in a basket. Okay, so I'm going to thread this through the eyelid, hopefully. Let me just use this and push it through. Okay. May end up using all of this. How about that? Okay. And then bring it up through this one. Make sure it's all laying correctly. Um, let's see, this way, this way. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Now, whenever I put the booklet right here, it will get tied into place. Let me see if I have enough ribbon to tie it. Okay, this. A little bit more ribbon. I have plenty, so why not? Let me pull it through the back side. That should be plenty. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. There we go. You're on the wrong side. There you go. You stay over there. Okay. I do not think I need this much. This is a lot of ribbon. But I'm going to cut it right there anyhow. Um, just to give myself some, I'm going to give a little piece, but I'll use it. I'll use it someplace. Okay. So that will be tightened into place and be held there like that. Like I said, this ribbon is, I got way too much here. So I may end up cutting, cutting some of this off because this is an abundance. Okay. So now we need to work on the other side. I'm going to open that back up, take out our booklet. Um, the other side, now, where did I put the other side? Okay, the other side is going to be this bird, and it's going to, let me take this off. This is going to lay right over top of that, so, and then there'll be a magnet, and this is going to be um, the cover. And then you'll put that up. And I did, what I did was I took some lace and I put a little bit of uh, parchment paper on the lace, glued it together for the back piece. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this is actually needs to be notched out just a hair. So I'm going to grab my, um, sorry, I should have had it prepared. I had everything else, but I didn't have this. Okay, so just going to... Think about where I want it notched. I don't typically uh, measure. I should, but I don't. I just kind of wing it. Okay, I'm going to ink that up. See, I'm off center a little bit, but I don't care. I like it. I like the being off center a little bit. I think it's cute. Might as well do the edges too when I'm at it. Um, okay, this one is in my head, so I need to think about how to apply everything and getting everything lined up. Okay, so I want to make sure that that's covered well on that side with the, where the eyelid is. So this piece needs to be, I could kind of tuck it in afterwards. No, that won't work. All right, so maybe I should tape this part down first and then put this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tape this so that it's not in my way anymore. I'm just going to grab some of my tape that hates me. Okay. I'm just going to tape that right into place. One, that helps the ribbon stay secure. And two, it allows for things to slide in and out. All right, so now I need to measure, I think, and kind of mark. Um, you can see my tape, though. I may have to trim that. Okay. Right there. Right there. I just need to know where the edges is. Edge. Edge. Okay. And then the height. I also needed to know the height. I think I'll come up just a hair. So you can kind of see the bottom. All right, so now I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac to put this down, and that's the edge, so I just need to go a little bit beyond 
a little bit beyond my edge like that so this is probably way too much way too much uh, parchment paper but it'll be okay that way it'll make sure it's a smooth glide all the way down there we're tucking something inside of it I'm sorry this time it seems like I'm don't I'm not prepared but I am it's just there's just a lot of moving pieces and I need to try and remember them all and now my glue is clogged okay here we go make sure I get this really sealed up on the back side here All right, let's try lining this baby up. All right, I want to go right there. And I think right there. Let's test it and make sure before it dries. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Okay, that works. So. All right, now I have a magnet. I know you, I have, didn't show you, but there's a magnet right here in there. And I, what I did was I cut this same flower out of another piece of lace and um, sandwiched the magnet between the two. So the magnet is going to go on the back of this piece here. As soon as I... Um, figure out the location of of it on this side so let's see if I can I had the magnet I saw it there it is it was actually on my so what I think I'll do is I'll put it this way no that won't match okay that won't match how am I going to do this let me see that's not going to match it it'll be off centered when I flip it okay I guess I'm just gonna have to try and wing it and hopefully it lays about where I want it to go so if I put my finger right there maybe I can get lucky and put it in the exact spot I'm putting some fabric tack down. And if I get lucky, then I'll tape it. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so there and there. Now let's see if I got lucky. Are they? Oops, hold still. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, okay. Maybe a little off to the right. I'll see one here. Be slightly this way okay let's try it again making sure everything is lined up yeah okay it's good so i'm going to take a piece of tape and cover that magnet so that the magnet doesn't come off um, so that the magnet stays in place and Whenever you're putting things in and out of it, it doesn't um, grab a hold of whatever you're. Gosh. Okay, it's a lot of tape. There we go. All right. Now, next step is just to glue this panel down. Do I need this? Yeah, leave that. Okay, that these magnets are proving to be trickier than I thought for my what I'm wanting them to do and what they're actually doing. I know there's probably an easy way to put magnets on, but 
I don't know what, what it is yet. After I finish this journal, I'm sure going to be a pretty good expert in magnets. <laughs> know that. Okay. Cover that side. Cover this side. Make sure it's lined up with the magnet. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. I'm just going to push this down. I just wanted to give like a really soft um, cover here for I thought it was kind of cute. You can kind of see the bird peeking out. I'm starting to get messy over here. And then whenever you um, tuck something in, it creates a nice um, tuck. Like I was using, see? Things slide in and out. And then you throw that down and it grabs a hold. Yes, it's working. Okay, now back to this piece. I want to um, go ahead and put right and I'm gonna, oh wait before I tie this I forgot we're going to put this on to our other panel so let's let me grab it back here okay and what I'm going to do is put this hinge down right here onto here so that I can finish out that panel. So I'm just gonna run my glue down. My glue is having trouble coming out. Okay. All right, now let's line that up. Okay. Oops, I missed. Oops. Why am I missing? Let me see what's happening here. Oh, why are you in the way? Ooh. Okay, so it's trying to glue to the side of that panel, not to the top. So let me try gluing. Gluing right here. I was trying to glue to the side. I don't know if I, how I miscalculated that. I'll stay out of the way this time, shall we? There we go. Okay. Okay, that's looking pretty. Okay. Put that off there over there. Now I'm going to put this in right on the inside of that one. Make sure it's down. Yeah, you can see where I had a misprint on this. My color, I had to change out my yellow. Ran out of yellow on my printer. Everything was coming out purple. Okay. Glue, glue, glue. It shouldn't be that difficult this time. Should just be able to line it up. Okay, move it down. Making sure it's going to close. It does. Okay. Kind of just realized I did like a little blooper here. Um, when, oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay. When I, um, I meant to wait to put the bird on so that I could put the other, for the hinge for one and two right here. But I guess I would just do the hinge for one and two slightly, um, under this. Where I made 
pull this up so that I can do that. Oh, I like how that... Okay, now let's put this in, and it's... We're going to call it done for 3 and 4. Yeah, I'm definitely going to fix this ribbon. I have way too much here. But it'll be okay for right now. Yeah, that's a badly tied ribbon, don't you think? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there's 3 and 4 is done. And, oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for three and four. We did everything. So yay. I thought there was going to be more problems, but it actually ended up okay. Didn't, didn't have too many issues. <laughs> so that's it for panel three and four. We'll be working on panel one and two, our final panel for the green file folder base next. See you next time. I hope you guys have a blessed day.